digital differential analyzer so we usually call it as a dda algorithm so now let's see what is this digital differential analyzer so in this video i'm going to cover the introduction part of these uh, line drawing algorithm and what is exactly the digital differential analyzer algorithm and uh, advantages of the dda and the disadvantages of the dda and i'll explain the difference between dda and the brehn's uh, bresenham's algorithm also okay in the previous video i explained about uh, what exactly the bresenham's algorithm also so still if you having any doubt on the what exactly it means uh, in the below a link is shared with you so please watch that bresenham's line drawing algorithm also okay so we will see the difference between dda and the bresen hams line drawing algorithm and the pseudo code for the dda algorithm and i'll explain with an example whatever the pseudo code is there i'm going to apply that code in the example okay at the end of the video you'll get a complete clarity on what exactly this digital differential analyzer algorithm is okay so now let's see the introduction part of the dda uh, first of all uh, what is a line segment this dda is a line drawing algorithm so first you have to know about what exactly the line segment is you all know okay a line is there so a line segment is nothing but joining any two points so joining any two points on two dimensional plane so this is a two dimensional plane joining any two points on a two dimensional plane you call it as a line segment there are different types of algorithms that are used to generate the line segment so you will get a doubt for drawing a simple line why we have to require so many uh, algorithms because this is a digital environment so if you want to generate a graphical image okay on the screen so a screen consisting of thousands of pixels so many pixels are there okay so to uh, for joining the two points on the pixels we need a uh, algorithms so the different types of algorithms that are used to generate these line segment whatever the line segment here we had taken okay so to uh, generate that line segment on the 2d plane or on the screen we required uh, a different types of algorithms one is the digital differential analyzer line drawing algorithm bresenham's line drawing algorithm and the midpoint line drawing algorithm let's see what exactly these terms are then we will discuss about what exactly the dda is digital differential analyzer algorithm a dda line on drawing algorithm is also called as an incremental method of scan conversion we generally use to call it as a incremental method so finding one point next another point next another point like that so uh, you generally call it as an incremental method of scan conversion in this algorithm we can perform the calculation in a step by step manner by using the previous result in the next step if you want to generate the point this is a, a 2d plane if you want to generate the next point we have have to use this point and we are going to generate the next point by using the previous value and the next value is going to be generated in by using the dda algorithm so it performs a rat rasterization on polygons lines and triangles so that is a introduction part of the dda then what is a bresenham's line drawing algorithm i just said it uh, these are the three different types of algorithms which are used to generate a line segment so bresenham's line drawing algorithm it attempts to generate the points between the starting and ending coordinates so here the start and ending coordinates uh, are going to be known so in between the starting and this is the starting coordinates and this is the ending coordinate so here we have to find out up intermediate points in between the starting and ending by using the bresenham's line drawing algorithm it enables us to carry out experiment conversions of a line it is a powerful useful and the correct approach okay then next is midpoint uh, line drawing algorithm it is accuracy in finding points and the resulting line is very smooth and simple than when compared to other algorithms so the midpoint line draw algorithm is used to find the accuracy accuracy in finding the points and it is if you want to generate a very smooth line so then it's better to prefer the midpoint line drawing algorithm since uh, each operations on midpoint algorithm uses a basic arithmetic methods the whole operation takes a few very few times to complete so within a uh, few times uh, this uh, the line is going to be generated if you use the midpoint line drawing algorithm so these are the three different uh, line drawing algorithms which are used to generate the line segment on the 2d plane 
okay so now let's have a look on what exactly this dda this is our topic right the abbreviation of dda is digital differential analyzer it is a scan conversion method we usually call it as a scan conversion method okay so uh, and also we call it as an incremental approach which performs the calculations at each step by step by using the previous step that is what i said just now it is one of the simplest line generation algorithm and it performs rasterization on polygons lines as well as the triangles okay so then what about the advantages and disadvantages of using the line drawing uh, dda line drawing algorithm because so many uh, different techniques will be different types of algorithms will be there bresenhams is there midpoint or there so if you want to go for the next uh, any uh, type of algorithm first it, you have to know what are the advantages in dda and disadvantages in dda then you are you can get an idea whether i have to use this dda algorithm or not for generating the line segment on the 2d plane so advantages it is a faster method when compared to other line algorithm so this is one of the good advantage because we need uh, to generate a line within a seconds okay within uh, very fastly we have to generate this uh, output dd algorithm does not use any multiplication theorem this algorithm helps in finding the change values of x and y so that it can easily avoid plotting the same point twice when a point is repositioned it indicates a overflow this is one of the simplest method which includes only two additions at each step so these are all the different advantages of using the dda so then what about the disadvantages due to floating point addition rounding off accumulates of errors may occur so whatever the value that is generated uh, so we have to round off that value because we need to uh, take the uh, a correct value means the round off value and uh, that value has to be plotted on the screen okay so whatever the floating point uh, number is generated so that has to be rounding off so for this it takes a time and errors may also occur for this it consumes lot of time for rounding off and floating point operation not useful for hardware implementation so these are the disadvantages of using the dda line drawing algorithm now let's see the difference between bresenhams and the dda because we usually uh, compare these two only uh, so based on the user's requirement we can choose any one of the algorithms but uh, let's have a look on the differences then you get a clarity on which one we have to be choose for generation of a line segment dda is efficient okay uh, the efficient sorry the efficiency of a dda is low, low. and whereas the bresenhams Bresenham's line drawing algorithm efficiency is high. The calculations that are involved in DDA are complex, but whereas the calculations in Bresenham's algorithm involves are simple. The speed of DDA is less when compared to Bresenham's, but the speed of uh, Bresenham's is more when compared to DDA. And coming to the DDA algorithm, the operations used here are multiplication and division, whereas Bresenham's uses the addition and subtraction. DD algorithm consisting of floating point values and whereas the bresenhams algorithm is consisting of integer type values dda is costlier and the bresenhams is cheaper optimization is not provided in dda and optimization is provided in bresenham so by seeing the difference what do you get a clarity so it's better to use the bresenhams when compared to the dda because DDA, bresenhams is having more advantages when compared to the dda that is the advanced next technology of uh, dda now let's have a look on the pseudo code for dda so you'll get a doubt we are we are concluded that bresenhams is better than the dda then why we have to uh, know about the dda algorithm okay even though you are using the most uh, advanced technologies or whatever the efficient technologies you want to be used better try to understand what is the reason behind of using this if you find the reason behind of using this then you will get a clarity on what is the next concept so always go with the bag and try to evaluate the concept and work on with the next uh, latest technology
okay so the pseudo code of dda all get them uh, the let's see the first step first declare all variables so uh, that is a starting point x1 x2 y1 and y2 so these are the next values the y1 and y2 are the next values and da float is dx dy because the difference of x will be stored in dx and the difference of y will be dy x and y n are the ending points or the uh, ending points and m is the slope value in the next step you have to find out the difference between x so the difference between x will be stored and dx x2 minus x1 this is what here we have written and coming to the slope slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so it's nothing but what it's nothing but y2 by sorry uh, dy difference right dy by dx so this is a slope suppose whatever the value if you find the difference between y2 and y minus y1 x2 minus y1 if this slope value is greater than 1 if you got m is greater than 1 then you have to perform the next point the next point that is going to be generated is xn is equal to the previous value x1 plus 1 by m slope value and yn is equal to the previous value plus 1 then the next point is going to be generated else if you have to perform xn is equal to x1 plus 1 and y1 plus 1 means that means if m is less than 1 you have to do this previously if m is greater than 1 these are the for calculating the next value this is the formula suppose if m is less than 1 perform xn is equal to x1 plus 1 and y1 is yn is equal to y1 plus 1 else that is m is equal to 1 if suppose m is equal to the 1 then x1 is equal to xn and y1 is equal to yn and close the graph now apply this pseudo code on an example let us consider two points starting points starting point is whatever x1 y1 and ending points let's take x uh, x2 uh, y2 x2 y2 and generate a dif digital differential analyzer line drawing algorithm they are asking okay so now let's apply the pseudo code first calculate the slope so what is the slope m is equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 what is y2 y2 is nothing but 100 minus 50 by x2 is 50 minus 20 then you will get by 50 by 30 that is means 1.6 so this 1.6 that is m is greater than 1 whenever that is 1.6 is there that is m is greater than 1 whenever m is greater than 1 what we have to be do the next coordinates are xn is equal to x1 plus 1 by m what is xn x1 the first value okay so and 1 by m that is 1 by 1.6 so you will get 0 0.625 and y1 is equal to y1 plus 1 so these are the coordinates xn is xn the next coordinates xn comma yn is equal to 20.62 by comma 51 you can round off this 21 comma 51 you can round off the value so now this is a value so the next value so again you have to perform the same operation and 21.2 comma 52 the next value will be zero. so repeat all the steps till we get the p2 value the ending value 50 comma 100 because the starting of the line is what is the starting of the line 20 comma 50 and the ending is this is 20 comma 50 and the ending is 50 comma 100 so in this bit in between these two points the points has to be generated by using this dda line drawing algorithm so i hope you understand it so still if you're having any doubts please let me know thank you